Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and a look on the new Urban Decay and Game of Thrones collection, which I am so excited about. I was super excited to hear about this collab, and Urban Decay was nice enough to send over the whole collection. So I'm gonna be going through and sharing with you guys everything that's in this collection. I'm gonna be going into detail and showing you guys the whole collection, swatches, also the pricing on everything. Now this whole thing also will be available to purchase if you wanna buy the entire collection, if you're a huge fan of Game of Thrones like I am. This will be sold for $240 and you get everything inside which I will show you. Also, this is going to be launching on April 14th, which is also when the final season of Game of Thrones is going to air, which is really exciting but sad at the same time because it is the final season. So if you guys want to see everything that's in here, then let's just get started. First, I want to show you that you just open this part up right here and you have the palette right here and then also down here, let's see if I can do this without dropping it, you open it up and this is where the rest of the collection is. So I'm gonna set this down to make it a little bit easier for me to show you. So this is the palette itself. It looks like a little book, which I think is super cute. And you just open it up, you get a nice big mirror here. When you pop this open, it is the Iron Throne, which I think is adorable. Has a little, um, has a little quote right here and also one right here. Now the actual eyeshadow palette itself is on the side. This collection has a lot of detail which I love. I think they did a really great job with the packaging. So on the side here you pull this out and that's where you'll get the actual palette itself. So you just pull this out and this is what it looks like. So before I dig into all of the makeup I want to show you guys how everything looks in its original packaging. So you guys can see that you get the two makeup brushes, you also get the highlight palette, the four 24-7 glide-on pencils, and then you get the four lipsticks, and then the lip and cheek stain. So that's what this bottom little compartment looks like that comes in the box like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the makeup look, and I'm also going to show you guys close-ups of everything, and we'll do swatches and everything at the end. So I'm going to jump right in and start with the eye look. So I'm just pulling out the palette. You guys can see it is gorgeous. There's a ton of different shades in here. I wasn't going to use these brushes because I wanted to keep them in the original packaging just like as a collector's item, but I'm going to use them just to show you guys how they work and everything um, with the eyeshadows. I clearly have the worst look because I thought I was recording this entire time and I wasn't. Um, I mean, I didn't get too far into this eye look, but it's still really disappointing because I wanted you guys to see how pigmented the shadows I used were. Um, that's really annoying. The first one that I used was this one, Nymeria. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's this shadow right here. It is one of the only matte shades in here. Only three matte shades in this palette. So I used this one in my crease and it was so nicely pigmented. You guys can kind of see it right up here. It went on really nice. Wish you guys could have seen it. Um, but then I went in with Lannister Red right here and I did use the Jon Snow Long Claw brush which is perfect for the outer crease. I'm gonna go ahead and pack on a little bit more just so you guys can see it in action even though it is, like you guys can tell how nicely pigmented it was and I only dipped into this shadow once, but you guys can see it does build up really nicely. So I did mention um, when I thought I was recording that this palette does retail for $65, which is a little expensive for a makeup palette. But if you think about what you're getting, you're not just getting like a regular old makeup palette, you're getting kind of a collector's item. That's what I feel about this entire collection. It's more of a collector's item type of makeup collection. It's not just a regular makeup collection. I feel like I'm going to say that a lot in this video, but if you are a fan of Game of Thrones, I think it's well worth the price. You are kind of paying for the packaging, but the palette itself is really nice. You guys can see the shadows are really nicely pigmented so far. No complaints there. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer and the Aria needle brush. 
And I'm going to kind of cut my crease just a little bit. Yeah, so this brush is perfect for cutting the crease. It's a nice flat brush. So I'm gonna go in with King's Landing, which is a really pretty like yellowy gold shade. So I'm gonna use the same brush. Well, that's gorgeous. And I didn't even have to spray it with anything. It's really really pretty I love that now I want to see really quickly if all of these shimmer shadows are the same formula I have a little booklet here so these four are actually what they call um, transformer shades which sounds really fancy so I think they're just like super extra like intense which clearly you guys can see that they really are I love that. Any shadow that you don't have to wet to get its true intensity, like that is a good shadow. I love that. I love it. Yes, please don't mind my hair. It's like a crazy mess. I just blow dried it and just like straighten the very top. I don't know if anybody else has done that before. <laughs> so it's just really like, poofy. So I'm going to skip to my lower lash line just because I'm still undecided on where I want to go with this look. So I'm going to be taking one of the 24 hour glide on pencils. This one is in Dragon Smoke. I love the packaging on these. It's super cute. It's got like a pretty like ombre look. So this one is just like a dark kind of purpley but like black with like the tiniest bit of shimmer. So I'm going to be putting that on my lower lash line not being too precise with this because I'm gonna smoke out this bottom lash line did anyone used to wear their liner like this because I used to wear my eyeliner like this <laughs> okay so moving on we're gonna get this lower lash line looking better. Go back in with Lannister Red. I will say, for not being a huge fan of the Lannisters, I really like their shadows in this palette. Beautiful! Okay, so then I'm going to deepen it up a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with Yearwood Leaves. I think that's how you say it. So it's like this deep purpley shimmer shade. Ooh, that is smoky. I love that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and also apply that same color just in the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more of that Lannister red color to blend this out. So far, none of these eyeshadows have disappointed me at all. They all seem to be very pigmented. They're all blending out really nicely. Really liking the formula on these. I kind of want to keep adding more, but I know if I do, I'm probably eventually not going to like it as much. 
I'm just going to go back in with just a little bit more of Lannister Red right here. So I am going to go back in with Dragon Smoke and I'm going to smudge this right on my lash line. Just so my lash line looks a little thicker. I'm going to go in with Take the Black, which is just a really pretty black shade. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. So I did go ahead and apply my false lashes. So I'm just going to pop something in my inner corner. And I think I'm going to go with Hard Home, which is this really pretty, like, super white shade. I really like the way the eyes turned out. So I'm going to move on to highlight now. And this is the Mother of Dragons highlight palette. The packaging on this is so cute. I love the detail of like the dragon skin, dragon egg, whatever it is. It's super cute. And so it does come with a little mirror and then it has these three shades right here. And like I said, the detail on this, the little eggs, so cute. So right off the bat, when I saw the shades in here, I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed in the shades that they chose just because this one is like straight up pink, like super pink, which even for the fairest skin tone, I think is not going to look that great. Um, I did swatch them on my hand on Instagram, but I'm going to try them on my face. I know this one will be too dark, but I can easily use any of these for eyeshadows, so I'm not mad at that. So I'm going to go in with the middle shade right here because I think it'll be the best for my skin tone. Don't mind my dog, she's trying to get me to the room. So I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here, which is by Syrian. I think I'm saying that right. I don't really know. So I'm going to go in with that one. We're going to see what this looks like. So this palette does retail for $36. Okay. I will say that compared to the swatches that I did on Instagram, it looks a lot better on my skin than it does in a swatch. And I'll show you guys the swatches on my hand just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. That's actually really nice. I didn't think it was going to be this intense. Okay. Okay, it's changing my mind. That actually looks really, really good. Okay, I'm taking back the thoughts that I had on this palette originally. So it is not super, super like blinding, like bam in your face, like you're going to see it in the dark type of highlight, but it actually is really nice. Ooh. I do kind of want to try this one a little bit, kind of, on top, just to see what that does. On the skin, they look so much better. Like, this doesn't look so pink. My mind has been changed. These are amazing. Okay, I'm going to swatch them just so you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? So this is what they look like swatched, as you can see. This pink one is super pink, so I thought it wasn't going to look all that great. Even this one, on my hand it looks okay, but it just still looked too gold, I felt like. Obviously for deeper skin tones, it's going to work really well, but I didn't think that for like my skin tone it was going to be all that great. But on the skin, you guys can tell, it looks way different. So I actually really like this now that I've tried it on my face. So that's the thing about products. You just never really know with swatches how good they're actually going to be until you use them. So really like this. Definitely recommend. We're going to move on to lips. I'm just going to moisturize a little bit. 
So I usually do line my lips um, just because I don't have super full lips. But I think for the sake of just showing you what the shades look like on their own, I'm not going to do that. So here is what the lipsticks look like in the boxes. They're super cute. I love the different colors, the different names. So each of these retails for $19. This is what the lipsticks look like in their packaging. It's super cute. The detail on this whole collection is really nice. This is Cersei Lannister, so you guys can see it's a nice gold packaging. And this one is like a metallic gold shade, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one first. We'll see what this looks like. I'm not sure. Ooh, that is metallic. So this is definitely not a color that I would normally wear. If you're into metallic colors, it is a really pretty shade. But like I said, it's not something that I've ever worn. It's super comfortable, nice and creamy. So that is Cersei Lannister. I did mention that I'm not a huge fan of the Lannisters though. But it's a pretty color. So the next one I'm going to do is... I guess I should do the light shades first before I put the dark ones on. So this one is Sansa Stark, and this is a pretty nude shade. So we're going to see how this one looks. So this is a really pretty peachy nude color. It is a little bit on the sheer side. It doesn't look too bad though. I actually really like it. If I lined my lips, I would love it 100% more. Ooh, I like it. So this is probably going to be my favorite just because I do love nude shades. And like I said, it's like a pretty peachy nude. This is perfect for spring. We are a fan of Sansa Stark. So then we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, so next up I'm going to do this one is Daenerys Targaryen. Huge fan of Miss Daenerys. Um, this is a really pretty red shade right here. So let's give it a try. So this is Daenerys Targaryen. It is a very bright red. It almost has like a metallic like sheen to it. It's really pretty, really comfortable on the lips. I'm not a huge red lipstick person, but if you are, you might like this one. That is what she looks like. The last one is going to be White Walker. And this one is the deepest shade in the collection. So I think this one's going to look really good with the eye look. Ooh. So this is what White Walker looks like. I'm a huge fan. I think it looks really good with this eye look. It is the only matte shade of the four lipsticks. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a super matte lipstick. It does feel like a semi-matte and it is really comfortable on the lips. And it's super pigmented as you guys can see. So I am a fan of this shade as well. So the last thing in the collection is the lip and cheek stain. Which I am not a big cheek stain or lip stain person, but I am going to put a little bit on my cheeks just to see what happens. So the lip and cheek stain retails for $26. So I'm just going to dot some on my face here. I don't want to put too much just in case it's really pigmented. And I'm just going to 
press it in with my fingers. So I don't think that I see much of a difference. Maybe I have to put more. I'm kind of scared. This might be a product though that looks better when you have no foundation on. Let's try it on this side. When you just have your bare skin. So I don't know if you guys can tell. I can't really tell in my monitor. So this is probably the only product that I wouldn't recommend. Um, maybe on the lips or maybe without foundation. If you put a little bit more, you might be able to see, you know, that color transfer. But I didn't really see much on my skin. So this is the final look. I am absolutely in love with this collection. Um, I feel like sometimes collections like this can be too like cheesy or like the quality isn't always there because they're focusing more on the packaging. But for this collection, I think they did amazing on both the packaging and the quality of the products. The only thing that I personally could have done without is the lip and cheek stain just because I don't use products like this. You know, I did try it a little bit, but um, I didn't seem to notice the difference. But the rest of the collection, I love entirely. I love Urban Decay's 24-hour glide-on pencils, and I knew that these wouldn't disappoint. Um, the packaging itself is gorgeous, um, and the product itself I already knew was going to be good. So I love the shades that they chose to go with. These little brushes right here, like I mentioned earlier, I was not going to open them and use them just simply because they're so freaking cute and I wanted to keep them in their packaging but they actually work really well and they're not cheaply made like you would think they would be just based on how they look. You would think that they would be like flimsy little plastic brushes but they're actually nice and weighted and they work really well. The palette itself. If you're only going to buy one thing, clearly, obviously, I feel like you should buy the palette. Um, you know, it is not your typical travel-friendly makeup palette. But since it is more for collecting, if you like to collect makeup, if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you definitely need this palette. It's so cute. It's just something that you're going to keep forever. And it's just beautiful. I really love everything that they did with this. The shadows themselves, I could not be more impressed with. Thank you so much to Urban Decay for sending this over to me. I am so, so grateful. Again, this collection launches April 14th, which is the same day that Game of Thrones final season is going to air. So definitely make sure that you guys set your alarms for April 14th so that way you guys can buy some makeup, watch the final season. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.